Hi. Um, today we're going to be reviewing the Sony Ericsson Arc S and the iPod Touch 4th generation. So first off, let's start off with the iPod. Right, this, or well, you can get any, you can get a few types of iPod 4th gens. 16 gigs, 32 and 64s. I've got a 32 gig. You'll be able to see it just says there. Um, it comes with like um, a silver chroming aluminium back, which is shiny, and then a 3.5 inch screen, a camera. So yeah, okay, right. Um, it comes with the button, you know, home button, and that's all you need. The features, the um, it's the software 5.1, so it's the new version. You can find this for about 140. It's got the potential. It's got there we go, phone, like the head jack there, where you insert your thing. And um, we've got a camera on the back, quite small, but it's still yeah. So um, and the speaker, the speaker's not very. Just like music, that little cut there, there, above my finger. Okay, so yeah, the, those are the feature, features on the iPod. So I said, cool, so I said it comes with the software, I put one new version. So, and it comes with apps, you know, App Store. It comes with um, loads of stuff really. Yes, yeah, so. Um yeah, so that's it. Basically this these are the twenty first century that everyone's getting. These are the phone are the iPods. Listen to music that everyone gets these iPods. You know, it's gaming, it's music, it's watching videos, internet access. Well obviously you have to be at your home network, but yeah, so okay. And now, the Sony Ericsson phone. This phone isn't a big, like, popular phone, but it's a good, like, every, every all Sony Ericsson's are good. I like Sony Ericsson's. So it comes with a white, plastic, flexible, hard case, like that. The amazing thing, it comes with an 8.1 megapixel camera, HD as well. Also, you can get a 3D. If you have a 3D TV, plug this in to your 3D. You'll have um, a wire that you can plug in, or through the computer, and it shows you images on there, and videos on 3D on your TV. It comes with a 4.3 touch screen. It's white. You can also get it in midnight blue. Um, camera, or battery. SIM card, yeah. Um, it comes with a memory card, all the, and yeah. But the worst thing is, it doesn't really come with um a good gigabyte. It's only eight, only eight. I mean, I've used up, had this phone for about a month, and I've used three gigabytes already. So yeah. But it's it's slim, quite slim. You can see that's the, yeah. Um, here, where my finger is there. Is the camera button to hold down when taking pictures? Um, that's the home button, the back button, no, the home button, the back button, and the options button like wallpaper settings like that. Okay. So yeah, it comes with. There's your charger. Where you put your charger in, and the sound, the volume. So yeah. Um, when you get this, this will come in. It's an Android app, so Android Market. Get a lot of free stuff on their apps. Yep, it's good for definitely taking pictures, like when you're on holiday or you're at a famous landmark, you know, take a picture. So, yep, that's all I wanted to say. So now, which one do you. I know this is a weird combination, but which one is better? Now, the reviews are that this. Is better for half the things, but also this is better. And overall, 
the winner is the phone. The only reason why because it comes with a big obviously the HD as well, most people are using that. It's smooth, it comes with apps, it comes with it's basically everything on there, but this has got better software, good access to Wi Fi, but this is like a mob, you know, calling, messages, everything. So yeah. So hope you like the video and buy one of these if you want. Especially this or this. Both good phones. It's up to you. So thank you.